Millions of lives and livelihoods have been impacted because of the coronavirus. In my own district, we are experiencing a recent surge in cases. These are our families, our neighbors, and our friends that have been hurt because of this problem. When I think of their pain, I think of the damage China is responsible for inflicting on countries around this world and right here at home. China's deception has directly led to Americans' deaths. China covered the truth about the virus. China hoarded personal protective equipment and tried to extort other countries for political leverage. Now China is trying to hack our vaccines, which will harm our ability to serve the world and solve this problem. China is no friend to the United States. And that fact is clear to everyone except the Democrats. China tries to undermine the United States with every chance they get. Let's just look at the recent headlines. The Chinese consulate in San Francisco is harboring a Chinese military researcher, wanted by the FBI, who was accused of visa fraud and who lied about her connection to the Chinese military. We recently discovered the photos of her in the Chinese People's Liberation Army. We also found out that they have been spying and committing espionage from within our own borders in a consulate in Houston. They have now set fire to documents and would not even let the Houston Fire Department in. Makes you wonder what they are hiding or even what they are burning. A few months ago, U.S. authorities arrested a Chinese researcher in Boston and charged him with trying to, caught him with trying to smuggle 21 vials of stolen biological research back to China. Just last month, they caught another individual at LAX trying to fly back. And then we just found of January of this year, top professor at Harvard being paid by China. Think of that. The very country that created this problem is now trying to sabotage our effort to save the lives. 